Peach. Or Daisy, I guess. Daisy is so dope. Yeah. I'm glad Daisy is in Ultimate. It's probably like And I'm glad she's top tier. Yeah. I think the thing I find so funny about it is like if you ever like every game you look at Peach's costumes and you go, shit, 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 Daisy. Yeah. And then you can look at Daisy's in Ultimate and they look good. It's like yeah, how did this happen? Daisy's a beautiful <laughs> lady. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Oh. Daisy can just wear anything, she looks good. Yeah, probably. That's why she's wearing yellow here. To make it fair for Peach. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I have loved like Smash Ultimate Peach mains going O2 down and switching to Daisy. And then Ghost doing the same thing reverse. With yeah, and winning. Switching to Peach and winning, yeah. Uh, so Ghost plays Daisy usually? Yeah. Yeah, that's I don't like that. I don't like switching off Daisy. Uh yeah. Best five. Oh, it's best of five. Yeah, I know. I know. Ready? It'll just make the upset more impressive. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Catching was playing pretty good earlier. Against my Falcon and Deadlock's Fox. Oh, that's good. She definitely is 1 0 up against Davin's Fox. Yeah, she beat him in tournament. Yeah. And we all benefited that day, except for Davin, who went 0-2. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think about Musky's must haircut? I mean, it's a haircut. That's true. It's like, that's all I really it's have to It's a men's haircut. If you yeah. went into a barbershop and you said, please, you, may you I have one men's haircut? Yeah, you, you get that. And you just picked a random number between one and three. I don't know which one that actually is. Then yeah. you, get, you get that. And this you definitely good. pay like a third of the price of a women's haircut. Yeah. Oof. Check your privilege, Musket. I wonder how... Do you think Musket has to get his haircut more often than Catherine? Probably not three times as often. Probably not that much more often, but you know. You know you, I like Catherine's murder face. Yeah. I think that's important. Like, yeah. just in case your opponent looks at you and you, like... Stone cold eyes. Look at that. Oh, she's, she's evil. Yeah. <laughs> oh my. She looks like some kind of uh, anime cartoon villain, you know? Not that yeah, I would yeah. know, but I'm sure Catherine <laughs> would know. I love the way her eyes like looked up as she was throwing the turnips up, like Hell checking yeah. them for the stitches. You gotta, yeah, I mean, you gotta use your eyes in this game. You, you definitely do. Eyes and hands. Those are the important ones. And ears. They're less important, but Smell, still pretty important. Not so much. You don't want to be using that too much. Yeah, that, that, <laughs> that, that'll, that'll slow you down, if anything. <laughs> exactly. You'll definitely be making angry tweets after the tournament. Yeah. And the thing is, if you have a diminished sense of smell, your other senses are more... Heightened, yeah. Yeah, heightened. Be, having it's a like bad a sense of smell is actually such an advantage in but, video games. But how many years do you reckon until esports goes so hard that, you know, people are amputating their legs to, like, up their upper body? Oh, give it a few years at least. Like, like I think that's a 20-year plan, but, you know. Do you remember that once upon a time, that Twitch streamer who's in a wheelchair? who's like a Diablo Twitch streamer. And then he, like, stood up one day by accident <laughs> and got banned. I mean, yeah, you would. <laughs> it's like... You can't be doing that. Yeah. Just grab the ledge. I don't understand why Peaches float I hate it. towards like the ledge and not facing backwards. Yeah. Because back is just as good. I it's mean so like, you know, it, it's gonna cover what Nair's gonna cover. And but then the you down get down air hitbox is pretty nice when you're facing forwards, I guess is the thing. Yeah, but if you're going for down air, can't you just grab ledge and kill him? Yeah. You're right. You're hundred percent right, Jack. Yeah. It's just a lack of confidence. Yeah, probably. Get him. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. yeah. She should have gone down there Armada style. Yeah, I'm going to miss Peaches going down there. It's going to be like a solid six months where people don't do it. Yeah. The last going down there Peach is, is gone, unfortunately. Well, the only one. Yeah. Yeah, the last. <laughs> the last. I'm sure there have been other going down there Peaches, but who even plays Peaches at the moment? Triff? Drift, yeah. Uh, Lord would if he showed up to things. Kalamazoo. Yeah. 
I see him destroying Mango from time to time. Yeah. On Mango's stream. Oh, snipe. Take the ledge. Oh, just back here. Back here. Back here's better. I mean, I don't care. That, if, you oh. know, if you know the other guy's just going to like keep checking and sidebing, down smash might be better. <laughs> no, back is still better. <laughs> back here, you can just land it back air again. Well, yeah, if they're not like doing, if they're not getting out of the su down smashes though, it does more damage. I mean, if the other player is bad, it's it's better. I don't even think it is better. I think it's just the same. But yeah, probably. More middle. Yeah, probably. But you know, must get hit by it. So. Also, must got hit by it, and he got hit all the way to the other side of the stage. Yeah, and could have lived if he was like one percent lower. Makes yeah. you think. You gotta optimize in this game, Catherine. Yeah. You definitely do. You can't just do whatever and hope it works. Well, that was a really good reverse there. I wish yeah. he had like known he was gonna go for late side B. Because all I was thinking is, this is where you down smash. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's why they don't take the ledge. Yeah. They're scared of that happening. Well, like that's why you react. Uh, it's harder and found, I guess. But. I like that down smash. Down smash when you're late on the tech chase, pretty good. Yeah. It's definitely like Peach's Shame. fastest decent option. Must be definitely good. It's also it's fast, but it also covers spot dodge. Yeah, it covers a bunch of stuff. Covers roll through. Yeah, that is true. It definitely covers a lot more than like the standard. Like well, I'm just gonna shine and hope. And if they shield, it just like chips away at the shield. People are bad at punishing it. I mean, it's probably not as good as like spamming float cancel nez or something, but yeah. Waiting for the day we get that peach where they just like they hit a shield and they just break it. I mean, you can't like. Like I know you can't, but like you know what I mean. Like at the very least, freak people out until they get hit by a net. Yeah. Like the same way that like West Ball shines people. You can shine always roll out of it. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, probably. Like repeated nairs you can roll out of. I'm pretty sure nair to jab if you do it perfectly you can't roll out of. But, but like, you don't get anything up to jab. Yeah. yeah. You might even be able to catch roll with nair to uh, down smash actually. Yeah, probably. Pretty sure you can. Because roll takes four frames to yeah. start. Oh my, yeah. Should have done like a float nair and then adjust to where she was. Yeah, down smash the whole platform afterwards. She only covered, she didn't cover, she only covered one option, right? Like she yeah. could have covered any two. Uh, she tried to recatch the turn when she just did like dash back or something. Oh, he misses the ledge. Ooh, must get looking like Zai right now. Yeah. Dropping a game to Catherine. I, I, I shouldn't say that. Catherine taking game two. Yeah. Yeah. Stadium. You think this is the right pick? It seems about right. I think it's the right pick. I don't yeah. know. I can't think of a better stage. Yeah. It's like this or Yoshi's, and like size helps him, so yeah, it's the right pick. Yeah. This is much better for Musket. Yeah. Uh, at least try to it. SDI or something. I'm sure she tried. Yeah. I feel like up. Up throw up should never work on Peach. When I see Armada play anyone, it, it just looks it like it never it's, ever works. Yeah. It's not even just because of the SDI, it's like he DIs it and then it's like they don't even reach it. Yeah. Oh, oh. that was bullshit. That's unfair. That should be bad. Remember that Grim Tuesday post about how wobbling is like comparable to Moth's F Smash? I mean. <laughs> I, I mean, it, what do you if mean, there Jack? was a version of the game where you like always held out, then maybe. Like if you always had terrible DI, then Moth F Smash would be pretty close and always tip it. Then it would be. I mean, if there was a version of the game where there was no DI, then wobbling wouldn't be as bad. Because the whole problem with wobbling yeah. is like every everything would be a wobble, right? Yeah, exactly. Then. And it's like, oh, I'll hold this fucking Falcon up air combo where you literally don't have a chance. And you always get need at the end. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. If everything was DI out, could you get guaranteed zero deaths on everyone? Uh, probably not. I reckon you could. Because you could just end every combo really early. Yeah, I guess. You get up air to up air to up air with Moth to like F smash and they'd always die. Yeah. Yeah. 
That was a quick game. It was. We're over here debating if Martha F Smash is wobbling. It's arguably better than wobbling. It has more utility, I'll give it that. Probably is better than wobbling. Although, if you do an F Martha F Smash on shield, it's punishable. But if you, if you oh. wobble on shield, wobble it's on not shield punishable. Is, <laughs> wobble on shield's real good. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> oh my. Catherine just in no man's land there with that edge guard, not covering the platform or the ledge. You gotta cover something. Yeah. Oh. How did that not hit? It's a little lip. A little lip, yeah, maybe. He snuck underneath the back air. Oh, this is bullshit. <laughs> that was, uh, that was yeah. unfair. How did he fold the ledge like that? So weird. Well, it was a crazy game. Was it like a tech back? Yeah, it was a tech back. Yeah, you can do that. Do you if just you hold away? or? It's like either when you're on your front or on your back and you do the, like, um, miss tech roll backwards kind of thing. Oh, yeah, yeah. You just end up on the ledge. That's weird. There was an SSBM tutorial about it, I'm pretty sure, in, like, 2014. Probably. I probably just forgot about it. Yeah. But I remember watching them all. My favorite one of those is still if you like stand up from ledge is chic and throw all needles, you go back to ledge, but if you yeah, throw five, like you don't. That. And it's only if they shield it as well. If you hit, hit them with it, it doesn't happen. Catherine with a really bad attempt. She should have just down aired. She just instantly started float down airing when she knocked the pops off. Yeah. That's the only thing she could have like done to cover anything. And I would have killed. I mean, if, assuming all the other parts work out. That up till hit that would have been the end of a very quick game. What a grab! What a deck out grab! Oh, the exact stuck yeah. happened in stuck one. It looked like it, it looked that at least looked like she was trying to cover it and just fell too quickly. Yeah. Like had that peach. I'm gonna float cancel the fair. Of course I'm gonna float cancel it. When it's like now you just fair and kill the guy. Yep. Don't need to cancel killing the guy. Alright, so I imagine the other side of losers has been played by now. 